others can come up and pray. In a case where questions outnumber answers. This is an extensive investigation. A mother's faith outweighs any doubt. I have my faith in God that she is okay and that she is coming home. It's been more than a day since anyone saw Hawaii Robinson after she left her home, and the last spot where investigators tracked her scent is just beyond the reminder of the innocence in this neighborhood. That's part of the difficulty we have here is we don't have witnesses to tell us what happened with this child after the child left the, the, uh, the residence. The search Wednesday grew well beyond Pritchard Police with the help of state and federal agents and volunteers know well the need to bring a little girl back to her mom and dad. I didn't know we'll get this man. It's a team right here. It's a team. It's a team. It's a team. It's a team thing, you know, and I'm, so and I'm with them, and I'm with them, I'm behind them 100%. See Jesus. And as day turned to night, the investigation rolled forward, as will the focus on the little girl who loves leopard print and dance, but loves her parents even more. And I got all the faith in the good man up above. He's going to bring her back to me, or he's going to send her, he going to send her to me, or he's going to send me to her. The homicide investigation tonight. He joins us live from the Best Future convenience store where Hawaii Robinson was last seen. Now, Derek, the FBI is taking the lead in this investigation. They are taking the lead, Kim, and the importance of this location. We're only a quarter mile from Hawaii Robinson's apartment, the place where she was last seen by her family. And this location here, quite possibly the last place anyone saw Hawaii Robinson alive on Tuesday afternoon. You mentioned the FBI taking the lead on this case. We saw it transform today, unfortunately, from a missing persons investigation to a homicide investigation. And the next part for investigators, the tough part, is finding and identifying a suspect in a case that has gripped this city with so much emotion. It hurts me to my heart because it touched so close to home. Very seldom do you see men express emotion, but in a case like this, Is there anything classified as a homicide? It's my understanding that it has. Very seldom do you see those men hold back. The thing that we feared most has come upon us. We saw that emotion from Mayor Troy Yee from Thursday as he talked about the discovery of Hawaii Robinson's lifeless body. No one ever wants to lose a child. And losing a child in this manner is detrimentally harmful, and it hurts. Not only does it hurt the mayor, who's a father himself, it's broken the heart of an entire city. And what could be the last moments of this child's life are only seen in these pictures. Snapshots of Hawaii Robinson next to a woman police called a person of interest. The timestamp shows the pictures were captured Tuesday afternoon, just a block north of where Robinson lived. Store clerks at the Best Future store tell us the pair was inside for only six minutes. And once these pictures were made public, the woman whose face is seen voluntarily came to police. This person is not a, pu a, per a suspect. She is not someone that was, in, that, that was under a matter of inquiry about her whereabouts. She offered valuable information that we will can certainly use. And the bulk of that information investigators are keeping close. And they want the public to do the same, not with information, but with the youngest among us, the ones most responsible for that emotion we feel. We want to emphasize to parents to, you know, take the opportunity now in the aftermath of this to, you know, love your child. This investigation still very much underway again with the FBI taking the lead in this case. Local, state and federal authorities are in this community, in this city, trying to turn over any new lead they can to identify a suspect, piece together a timeline and find out exactly what happened to Hawaii Robinson. They continue to stress the importance. If anyone had seen the little girl within the last two days, come forward give that information to police. No tip is too small, especially since this community needs closure, this family needs closure, especially considering Hawaii Robinson would have celebrated her ninth birthday next week. Meantime, a business known for honoring royalty, they wanted to honor little Hawaii Robinson with a special donation to the team organizing her final goodbye. Our Derek Rose has a story. Miriam Webster describes it like this. Princess, a female member of a royal a family. Is treated with special attention and kindness. And there's one young lady whose smile and story define it even better. She's elegant. The team at Dynasty Collection know quite a bit about royalty. We've been together now for 
30 years. They don kings and queens every day, but on this day, their subject is symbolic. Hawaii Robinson would have turned nine on Wednesday, and she wanted to celebrate like a princess. Well, the staff at Dynasty made sure she will. All we have to do is look up. In heaven, where the little girl is, this crown had to be worthy of her and where she's at. There's something that's magic, that's very spiritual about her that other people don't have. And we have to honor that. And honor that they did, 14 karat gold with jewels too high to count. We're in business, we got it. Even her name shines with the title she's earned, Princess Hawaii, who at eight years old knew she would be more than anyone's definition of just a little girl. Derek Rose, Local 15 Today. And remember, she would have been nine today. That While the country watches to see how President Obama moves forward against the terror network, folks in our region are trying to influence that strategy. Last night, concerned residents shared their opinions and they asked their questions. And Congressman Bradley Byrne listened. And our Derek Rose has this report. Ever get the urge to just sound off? Well, here's your chance. One topic. IS, IS. One question. ISIS best strategy. How should we handle ISIS? Um, how to do it? It's okay, take all the time you need. I don't know. Not too much time. All right. It's awful. Hey. That guy just said ISIS sucks as he rained by. That was fantastic. No answer is right or wrong. Just stop and share. Whatever happens that we don't get into something that'll last for another dozen years. I don't think that we have done uh, what would be the, the best approach to it. No shortage of thoughts here from folks who don't watch the news. I don't keep up with politics. I don't really keep up with news. I have a lot of personal issues that I go through daily. To those so who attack the people covering news. So you guys don't have to report the news anymore. You just create your own, huh? Apparently he thinks we should take a different approach and he let us know in so many words. We really need to take back our media. Congressman Bradley Byrne got an earful too. You're going to have to have a significant army for us not to get boots on the ground. Like us, he's used to hearing people vent, but he's free to take a side, making it clear what should happen to the ISIS fighter in those gruesome videos. He's going to be killed, and he deserves to die. Back on the street, opinions flow freely. I think you should stay at home and get that together. That's my strategy. That is all we ask. It's about changing people's perspective on things. Without Christ, you've got none of that. A simple question, and you choose the answer. Derek Rose. That's my opinion. Thanks. Local 15 Today. Loved it. No! <laughs> I feel like I just got a fresh slap in the face. <laughs> and then turn to the other side. That's so right. <laughs> turn the other cheek. Wow. That's right. Okay, but that's good though because mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you know the newsroom stays hot. People call their opinions and and uh, and when you have that microphone, you can control your own message. So that's true. All right, <laughs> uh, why why doesn't that work for me? <laughs> All right, well, Derek Rose spoke to Congressman Byrne at the town hall event Thursday. That's right. The congressman says he backs the president, and our commander in chief is taking the right approach. But Mr. Burns feels that uh, airstrikes alone will not get the job done.